Today we are going to make a name portrait where you're going to basically write the letters of your name and within the letters of your name you are going to put a couple of different graphics inside. One will put a little background, put a little hat maybe, and then you're going to put, you could put a different font and you could go into the blending options of the fonts on how you guys can um, play with the different uh, font styles and things of that nature. And we'll play with a few different things. All right. So this is the finished product. It's basically making a portrait of your name, um, first and last, and you can incorporate a couple of images around it. So first thing, we'll go get an image. I got the background image. All right. Could be any background image. You just go to File, Place, and put the image in there. All right. Choose your text. T for text. Click above it. Makes a new text layer. I like the impact one. Impact is good for this project, so I will go to Impact, uh, which is right here, the Impact, and I will put my first name, Dino, I will go to uh, Control T, make Dino a little bit bigger, right about there, that's fine, right there. Move tool and apply. Now, put the uh, the picture over the uh, the text, and then you will just go to um, effects. I'm sorry. You will then right click, and you will go to create clipping mask. And once you've created the clipping mask, now your image is basically anywhere masked over. The image itself. So I'll take this one and I want to move it over there here. I'll go to Edit Free Transform, and you can also shrink the image itself a little bit so you can see more of it or less if you needed to. I like this. I want to be able to see the eyes. I think that might work if I do this. Let's get it right this is okay I like that a lot I'll widen it a bit so we can see more of my son there you go and get more of his eye I'm okay with this right here I'll make that a little wider and in here good and widen you down bam I like that a lot that's really nice so click your move tool and apply now this can be fire snow it could be anything in this case it's an image of me holding my son so there's the first part alright now um, you want to make the the text part which is this part here you want to go to the effects panel and you might want to go to a bevel and emboss maybe and when you go to bevel and emboss move this out of the way so you can see what happens and you got contour lines you see it slightly change texturize stroke see how it sticks out a bit more I'll do a drop shadow and I'll do an outer glow pattern overlay there's all different ones color overlay you don't want to do anything that covers the middle this does a satin like a you know makes it a little darker duller and the stroke I like the stroke as well uh, I'll make the stroke there and you could then hit OK now next thing we could put our last name when you put in your last name in you can click the T for text I like making it in a script whoops you're gonna wanna click the T for text and click elsewhere and I'll put my last name Reese it's in it's not coming out though because it's why isn't it coming out oh, I see why I gotta make another layer above it so on this layer T for text here you go alright highlight my la my last name and I will go into here and make a script all of these are you can see examples of it I chose a script font now I'm gonna hit control T on the script font and let's make it a bit bigger and you could put it here where it's Reese Dino like that my last name is Reese by the way you could put it here which is kinda nice and I'll actually leave it right here which is kinda cool you know Reese and on I'm also gonna add an image from the internet which will be a Mets hat because I'm a Mets fan and here's the hat so I'm gonna copy the image go back into Photoshop and I'll go to edit pa paste 
take away all your layers really quickly and look at the image itself take away the background so now it's just a hat go to select deselect bring back all my layers again so I can see what's going on now my hat I'll go to edit free transform or control T and I could put the hat right on top of the O by making it a little bit bigger and maybe making a little crooked you know be a little gangster with it all right there you have it um, bam stretch it a bit and we'll flip them over a bit there you have it so it could be done like that apply and you could put like a drop shadow uh, blending options go to your drop shadow inside the hat as well if you wanted to just to give it a little bit more three-dimensional effect and now you have your name with your um, you have a uh, what you call it it is a it's, a it's a mask basically underneath with the image then you have text and you could change the different text fonts and you play with the the magic wand and you can put images over your portrait so basically anything that describes you you can collage anything around this image itself alright this is a really simple project but it's effective you want to change the color of this font here you can come into here you could even go into the blending options move this out of the way and you can play bevel contour lines which are nice you don't want to texturize it stroke that's too much inner glow outer glow that's actually really classy satin I like the gradient overlay a lot which makes it look kinda of classy but let's see the pattern overlay outer glow drop shadow I like the drop shadow I'll leave I'll leave just the drop shadow as is so you're gonna play with those blending options edit free transform and you can really put your name any way you'd like to it can go up here any way you'd want alright and there you have that move tool and apply so that's it so that's one way to stylize your name you can do this with make family pictures of it you can do just about anything sky's the limit alright so you went over the lasso tools I'm sorry you went over the magic wand tool you played you erased backgrounds went over some masks the text and we went over a couple of uh, little different things with layers and the effects panel and the blending options alright thank you so much and have a lot of fun with this